Welcome. This is Launch Your Inner Mayo 3.0 or fall. We're going to call this one fall. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to become a myofunctional therapist, especially if you're a dental hygienist. Um, we are going to touch on everything gener you know, generalized, but um, of course, we are all dental hygienists, so we can talk from experience. Oh my goodness, I have not looked for our, our um, uh, PowerPoint. Do you guys remember? I'm looking for it. Oh, right yes, now. it's under Launch Inner Mayo. Remember? Launch Inner Mayo. There it is. All righty. We're going to try to go through this very quickly. Let's see. Slideshow. Um, if you guys are on Zoom, you're going to be able to see the slides. If you are on Instagram, you are not. Uh, but everybody on Zoom and Instagram, and I think I have to mute myself here. And yes, you have to join Instagram and leave your Instagram volume on and the computer volume off. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see, let's see. I have the PowerPoint here, but I don't know if I'm going to have to make it like big. Let's share the screen. Remember, I think I had to leave it small. I cannot hear you, Ange, by the way, if you talk to me here. Which one are you on, Renata? Okay, I'm over here on Instagram. Hello, Instagram. Okay. Hit the airplane and send this to many of your friends. Um, so I sent you a request I'm going on to Instagram. find out what they have to do to become a myofunctional therapist. And open your own business. Who over here would love to open their own business, work for yourself, not have to worry about anybody else or any annoying coworkers? I'm kidding. <laughs> what fun coworkers! <laughs> we know we all we all deal with that. Um, I actually worked for ten years in the same practice. I worked at a pediatric office first. Love pediatric dentistry. Love little kids. And I worked on a pediatric office first. And then um, I just sent to like a bunch of people. You guys hit the little airplane and sent to some people also. Let me get Eng in here. But I worked at a, at a pediatric office and I always wanted to be a dentist. And I remember that I found some classes to take early in the morning. Uh, and it was only like Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, from eight to like eight fifty, you know, and I told the the doctor that, and she goes, "Nope, if you're gonna take that class in the morning, having to come in a little bit later, uh, you can just be off. You can just be off those days the whole day." And then the office manager pulled me aside and she said, "Renata, I have never met somebody that works as hard as you do. You go after your dreams. Don't let any doctor stop you from being what you want to be." From becoming what you want to become. So I'm telling everybody that's listening right now, I'm telling you guys the same thing. Not any doctor, not any family member, not anybody tell you what you can and what you cannot do. God has, I'm sorry, I'm going to get uh, <laughs> spiritual here, but God has put um, a purpose inside of everybody here. You know, and I really believe that my purpose is to, I'm just so passionate about helping children. Um, I'm so passionate about empowering other women um, to become the best that they can be. Um, so I do believe that everybody has this purpose inside of them. And don't let any of the outside distractions distract you from your focus and from your goal. You can do it. It's not, you know, if you have gone through dental hygiene school, you can do anything. <laughs> Right, girls? Very, That's the very truth. True. <laughs> very true. If for any reason you guys cannot hear us very well, just let us know. If you guys have any questions, please put in the chat box, either here or on um, Zoom. We have some cool people joining us over here. Hey, Dr. Eric. Dr. Eric is here. He does some of the best tongue tie releases I have ever seen in my whole life. So if you guys need a tongue tie release, call Dr. Eric. Um, <laughs> All right, perfect. Ready to start. Um, let's see. 
this is supposed to be split into three days. So we're going to run through this. Okay. Lunch in my live webinars. Brought to you by Aries Circle. Who are we? Uh, my name is Renata. I'm a, I was a dental hygienist. Um, graduated in 2010. I worked for over 10 years, pediatric and then general practice. Um, and I just felt like I hit the ceiling at one point and I couldn't grow anymore. I mean, I did everything that I could for that office. I did all of the... Uh, I, I built the website for the office. I did all the photography. I took photos of everybody and I put them on the website because I used to do photography and the decoration for the office were all my photos. Uh, I organized all of their supplies and you have something else on. Is the volume on anywhere? I hear somebody. Yeah, I hear somebody um, too. Is it you, Tamara? Um, Someone might be unmuted. And like, and then, to, but anyways, I, I I did everything I could. I was the OSHA whatever they they make you the OSHA thing, you know. <laughs> um, I did everything I could, and it just got to the point that I couldn't make any more money. I couldn't uh, grow anymore, and I wanted to do more, you know. So then, my functional therapy fell on my lap, and uh, it was then that I heard my purpose. I knew that this was for me. I knew that there was. So much more that I could be doing for my patients. You can impact their lives in such a greater level that you're not even um, understanding yet. When you find out all of this stuff, and most of you here, I think, have already taken your first course, uh, let us know in the chat box if you have already taken your first malfunctional therapy course. I would love to know that. Because after you introduce this information, it's like, oof, like your brain just goes, you know? You cannot unsee it anymore. We all say that in this field. And uh, you start thinking about all of the patients that you have had, all of the patients that you missed, all of the patients that you could have helped. And as a dental hygienist, are all those patients that are difficult to take bite wings. You get close to them with a bite wing and they start gagging. Their tongue feels like it's so huge, so, so big, and you can't get in there. Um, they have uh, crowding. They have crooked teeth. Uh, whenever you're cleaning, their lips are always pursing like that. You can't clean the lower interiors. Uh, their tongue is touching the instruments constantly. What else, girls? Um, I'm reading the chat. Sorry. Um, basically, all that you said, I was just thinking of a patient I had today that was definitely a gagger with the x-rays. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I had a, a, a pretty major Eiffel Tower, and uh, the, the girl was... 17 and she's like and dad was in the car and the sister was sitting right there and she's like do I have one too and I'm like well you're in my chair next well let's find out so mm -hmm. you know it's just yeah yeah gagging. anybody that needs braces that's a huge one yeah it's like an oral facial dysfunction going on definitely gagging with the, ultrasonics yep and the type of effect and influence that you're going to help have in these patients lives I mean, being a dental hygienist, it's amazing. You know, it's so needed. And we all know how um, the, what was I going to say? There's not enough right right now. You cannot find a dental hygienist, right? Yeah. To work in an office, it's so tough. But I know that there's a few of us that are those dental hygienists that are just extremely ambitious and you just want more. Those that are not just, you know, happy and, and comfort with the, the nine to five, nine to five job. And, you know, you're happy with that. And that's all you want. You want more. So if you are the dental hygienist that want more, we are here to help you. Uh, I'm seeing over here on the chat box, how many people have taken amazing courses. I AOM, AOMT, Sarah Horns, we completed two courses. Somebody said, uh, yeah, gagging whenever we're doing the ultrasonic. Yeah. So many great courses with this above. Amazing. And um, somebody said, Elise, I've taken a course. I'm really looking for more areas to grow with more CE. So let me just go ahead and plug that in. On Aries Circle, we have a live webinars every Thursday night where we interview people from all over the world. So if you want to know and learn more about Airway, this is the place. It is free for you to watch it live. We don't do CEs for those anymore. Um, but we do have courses monthly or every other month that are from two to four hours. And those we do offer CEs that are good for dental hygienists and dentists. Um, and you can go on aracircle.com, click on memberships and explore. And all the courses and the membership options are going to be there. 
if you decide to join the membership. The main one is $35 a month and you get access to all of our Thursday webinars. We have a research folder. We have product discounts. We have uh, discounts for conferences and courses. And then we're just a really cool group that you can be a part of. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, that was just supposed to be about me. You girls, your turn. <laughs> Go ahead, Sam. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, uh, Angela Richwine, and I'm a hygienist as well. And um, as you can see on the picture there, I have three boys, one's in college. Um, he's my why. I got into my functional therapy. Um, I, I attended a like a 30 minute blurb on myofunctional therapy and everything that was mentioned in there, all I could think about was, oh my God, oh my God, that and that and that, that's my kid, that's my kid. Oh my goodness, that's my kid. And that is my, he is my why. And we've had two kids since um, that, but I'll tell you, um, being a part of Airway Circle has just uh, opened up my mind and my education and my experience. And I've been in dental hygiene. Well, I've been in the dental field itself because I started off as an assistant for 28 years and I just put in my notice. Um, I have been working for the last, <laughs> um, I've been, I'm, I've been uh, just working one day a week for four hours. That's it. Just to keep my fingers wet. Uh -huh. And it's just been great. I love my office, everything about it. And it hurt to, to put that time, that notification in because I just love everybody over there. And uh, I know I'm going to miss it, but I also know that my myofunctional therapy business is growing so much. And all I can think about is over the course of the last 28 years, had I known throughout those years, what I know now about myofunctional therapy, how many other lives could have been changed? How many other of my kids, when, I, when my kid had ear infection after ear infection and antibiotics, and he had a tongue tie, he had a tongue tie. This entire time, he wouldn't sleep, snore, um, venous pooling, just all of the above listed. All of you have taken all these courses. You know the signs. You know the symptoms. And had all of these physicians who looked at my poor kid known anything about it, his life would have probably been a little bit different. Now, going on that, um, back to the myofunctional therapy business, it's just, I don't even know, countless classes, countless courses, and um Tamara Renata and I have just poured in all of the all of that time that we have taken and sat in these courses and we've opened up our businesses, successful businesses, that um it's we're givers. We wanna we wanna give back, we wanna teach, we wanna help educate, we wanna take all of that guesswork out for you. And that's what we're here for. And um you ask anybody in any of our prior launcher and Meyer courses. And they'll tell you, they still contact us. I get messages daily saying, hey, remember when you taught this? I used it today. I did this today. Thank you. Hey, I have someone who wants to take your launcher under my course. When's the next time you're opening it up? So we're always here for you. You will always have access to us no matter what. And we will always share because that's just, you know, we're all learning. We're all learning. And it doesn't matter if you've been doing this for 28 years. You're still learning something new. There's not a single person on the face of this earth who knows everything. So we're all learning together. And that's why we want to help. And that's why we want to share. And that's why we want to be here for you and for each other. So Tamara, your turn. Yeah, that was good, Ange. I think you summed it up very nicely. <laughs> I think basically just trying to take the guesswork out of all of it because we've all learned from others. But then um, we all have different perspectives on everything and different coursework that we've completed that I think we all complement each other pretty well. And our personalities, I think. A lot of uh, students have said that. Um, so I'm Tamara. I Tamara Thomas. I'm owner of Facial Physique in San Diego, California. Um, I've been a dental hygienist for 12 years now. I was a dental assistant before that. been in the dental field since I was 16. Um, and I started doing uh, looking into myofunctional therapy about 2016. And uh, obviously it kind of went down the rabbit hole and never thought I'd own my own business. Um, but I just kind of figured it out along the way and was super passionate about it. Um, I went to a continuing education course with Nicole Goldfarb here in San Diego and learned that all the things and I was like, oh my gosh, I have that. I went back to my office and told my uh, doctor that we should be referring patients who grind their teeth. That was the main one because so many moms have been like, what do I do? My child grinds their teeth. I said, we should be referring to my emotional therapist. And he said, do you want to study it? And I thought, sure, I, I think I do. So I put myself through it as a patient. 
um, studied it and then just kind of fell into opening my own business with all of it, which I love. So that's my story in a nutshell. Yay. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. All right. I forgot all about that, that uh, <laughs> grinding because of, yeah, I mean, it's just, gosh, it's just a dead giveaway. You see that straight occlusal line. It's like, oh, that's a grinder. Oh, that's an airway problem. Yes. Hey, Leslie. Yeah. Another thing uh, to look out for uh, is whenever somebody smiles, and you can really see it on me really good. These dark areas right here, can you see it? Those are called oh, yeah. narrow vocal corridors. It's like two black hallways that go on either side of your maxilla. That just means that I'm too narrow, that I did not grow enough. So, yes, that's the problem. <laughs> they were going to correct. Mm -hmm. But pretty much why I think that the answer over here on the welcome uh, or the question is why are we qualified? Why should you guys uh, listen to us at all? It's because um, all of us have different training. Every single one of us have taken different courses, have different certifications. And um, like Tamara was saying, we complement each other very well. We're all in different parts of the United States. We all have very successful businesses. Um, but just joining this three minds with three different courses, three different, many, many courses uh, into one. Um, our last launch here in our Mayo courses have been very successful. Some girls uh, have been able to completely quit hygiene and work on Mayo only now, which is our goal for all of you. Um, and they've been confident, you know, closing patients after their first consultations. Uh, so anything that we can do to help you guys. Uh, be successful in your business that's what we hear uh if anybody on instagram wants to see the um slides you got to come on zoom guys so it's not day one it's going to be everything is going to be day one so you have taken your first course now what what do you do how did you feel after the first course anybody over here that has taken one or two courses how are you in your practice um what were some of your immediate challenges, do you think, that you have faced? And was your dentist on board? So this question, I think it's for everybody that is here. If anybody wants to answer, please come on. You can um, unmute yourself and tell us what some of your challenges have been. What do you think that you wish you had? Do you guys want to comment about um, what do you share had after you, you took your first course? Gosh, where was I? My first course was the IAOM. Uh, oh, I yeah. So I was so excited. I'll say about what I did. Thanks for the hearts. Good job. <laughs> uh, uh, when I took my first course, it was the IAOM. So I actually studied for two years by myself in with universities, courses from universities in Brazil and reading every book that I could. And I remember... <laughs> I was, for some reason, I don't know why I did this, but I was so busy with hygiene and had a child. I didn't have any time to study. So I remember one time in the middle of the night, it was two o'clock in the morning. I couldn't sleep. And I just woke up and I started taking a course. That's <laughs> the type of stuff that I would do. <laughs> but um, yeah, in the middle of the like night, I would take courses. <laughs> That's me. But um, so I was so excited whenever I finally chose my first course. It was in New York. We had to travel. I was out of town. And, you know, saved up so much money to be able to, to, okay, now I'm going to take this course and I'm going to go, you know, I'm ready. I already have all the background information of my functional therapy. I've been studying for two years, you know, this is it. And even though the instructors are great and the course was amazing, um, I was like, okay, well, what do I do? What else? What do I do? Like, I want to know how to treat patients. Like, tell me what do I have to do? And it was just a lot more information which was great and I needed it, but it wasn't, it didn't give me anything uh, in terms of uh, steps to, okay, this is how you open your business. This is how you start seeing patients. This is how you do a um, comprehensive evaluation. This is how you should do a consultation. This is how you do a therapy session. This is how you plan your therapy. We had nothing of that. And I felt like I was just lost. I was like, okay, I spent all this money. I took all this time. What am I supposed to do? I still feel like I'm not ready to see patients. I'm not comfortable seeing patients. I'm not comfortable charging, you know, because what everybody tells you is like, okay, just go, go see patients, go see friends and family for free. 
That's what we all say, right? That's right. But then, like, at what point do you start charging? At what point do you feel comfortable putting a, a treatment plan together? Because if you because take courses, if you take from, courses certain from certain people, people they give you they... a list of exercises, right? And then the other people are like, well, you shouldn't get a list of exercises. But they don't give you anything to go, you know, off of. You kind of got to figure it out by yourself, but you don't. So anyways, I was just so confused and I was lost. Um, and thankfully, my dentist was very, very supportive. And he let me start seeing patients in the office and having my own hygiene patients. You know, I could talk to my hygiene patients about it. And slowly I started building on that until I was able to go off on my own. But it was a process. That's why we decided to put this course together because we literally want to hold your hand and get you through the steps of opening up your business. Um, if you don't have a logo yet, what? how does the logo have to be? Uh, how to search for names? How to, um, your website, what does your website have to look like? We have a, a class there with Justin uh, Collins, who uh, is our web design branding guy with Airway Circle. And he is absolutely fantastic. He's done Tamara's website uh, mm -hmm. and logo, right? And logo. Yeah. Yep. Uh, he's done a lot of stuff for Airway Circle. Uh, and he does a class over there teaching you guys all about logos and, and websites. And he offers a discount if you want to work with him. Um, we have Christina Bridges, who talks about uh, also LLC or sole proprietorship, like what should you get? And Christina Bridges also has a wonderful course for dental hygienists wanting to uh, open their business. Um, what else, girls? Trademarking, copyright. Yeah. Very mm -hmm. important. Very important. Should you trademark your name or copyright your name? What is the difference? We have a... Um, lawyer that comes and talks to us about all of that that's his specialty uh, but very important for you to make sure that nobody else has your name uh, there is somebody else in the United States with the same name as my company and I have everything trademarked um, so I did you know usually if you're in competition so if you see patients in in many places then they're not supposed to to be able to use your name um, but that stuff is going to happen in your career and you want to make sure you know um, that when somebody calls you because they know you work for this company, they're calling the right company and they're calling the right person. Um, so very important to have everything very protected. Uh, we have some messages over here. I have some questions. questions. Go ahead. You want to read it? Uh, sure. She says, uh, I have questions with starting a business. Is it illegal to start treating myo patients without an LLC first two to three months? Great question. Are you charging these patients? It depends. You need a business license. Um, it's not illegal if you are not charging. If you like, they're saying you're seeing friends and family. Um, but that's why that's our first module on on launch your inner Mayo, how to oh, get your business license and how to open your LLC, how to do all of that stuff. So that's all out of the way. In the second launch your inner Mayo that we just taught, we just finished and graduated a bunch of amazing girls um sorry mario if you're a guy i don't know <laughs> we don't know yet <laughs> but we graduated a bunch of amazing girls and that was um one of the things what was i talking about i totally forgot what i was saying the llc one of the things uh, of starting uh the question was um treating um the first two to three months are you charging uh do you have your business Gosh, what was I talking about? Ah, oh, total blank. Um, that was one of the things that we were talking about. Oh, I remember, I remember. There were a couple girls that took Lancher in Mayo before they took their first myofunctional therapy course. They contacted me and they said, Renata, we have our course that's about to start in a month or so for myofunctional therapy, but I want to go ahead. And do launch your inner mile because I know that business is important and knowing the business is important. So what do you think? And I said, you know, we haven't had this happen before, but yes, I'm going to let you take it to see how it's going to go. And like that, we can tell other people about it too. And to my surprise, she was, <laughs> she was so happy. She was like, oh my gosh, I do not have to worry about this anymore. Now I can focus on learning and treating patients and all of my business stuff is done. I know that my, my email is HIPAA compliant. I know that my LLC is in place and I've, I have all my 
uh, everything that needs to be in place, it's done. I don't have to go back to it while I'm trying to learn about Mayo and while I'm trying to to take new patients. Is she here? <laughs> Yeah. She might be here. You're welcome to come live and tell everybody about it. Um, second question. Are most of you doing therapy virtually or in person? What are the pros and cons of each? Great question, Lori. Uh, we'll start. I can do. Um, I had done virtually for so many years and I just recently opened a little place here in where I live and do the functional assessments there and do kind of hybrid. Um, I think it's it's definitely a different learning curve because I had obviously always done online. So when I started my in-person, I was like, this is totally different than what I'm used to. So I was lucky enough to have Angela and Renata that could kind of uh, guide us through it. So the nice thing about this course is you'll be able to see both both virtual and in-person um, assessments and um, therapy sessions. So you can know how to kind of go about each one. So. Um, I'd say, uh, Ange, do you do virtual at all or are you just in person? Yes. Um, so my comprehensive evaluations are always um, in person, but I have done a, a couple, maybe three virtually. Um, and that was with the guidance of uh, both you and Renata, Tamara, um, just by learning from you guys on um, things to, to go about um, by, by doing virtually. But I like to see all my patients in person or clients that um, term is used um, interchangeably. And um, uh, Tamara, you're frozen on my screen. I hope that, it, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Um, yeah, I, I generally see all of mine in person. Um, where I live right now, it's just, I'm getting uh, more and more phone calls saying, please tell me that you do this in person. I'm like, well, actually that's what I prefer anyway. So yes. I, I see a lot in person and um, within Montreal and Mayo, you will be able to see um, how it's uh, performed virtually, um, a, a comprehensive evaluation. You'll be able to see therapy sessions um, and both virtually and in person. So we give you pretty much the, the big roundabout full circle. Yeah, everything. Our different learning techniques, I would say too, because we all have something different. That's right. And they're Definitely. also successful. It just depends on at which aspect, you know, do you bring that into, into practice and experience definitely plays a role. And um, when you have the, the three of us on here <laughs> on your side, you definitely get a different perspective and it, there's nothing wrong about any of them. It's just different. And then, um, you know, you just find your preference and you incorporate all three or pick one and mm -hmm. you know if it doesn't work you try the other one and that's just the benefit of being able to see how each of us work differently um so i started seeing patients on saturday mornings on the dental off at the dental office that i used to work at the dentist just let me use the space and i'll do all my full evaluations there and then i'll see them online after uh i feel like yes it's super important and really really good it's very valid to be able to see your first appointment at least in person with that being said after i stopped working at the dental office i set up this little office uh, in my house above the garage and i used to have patients come here and i'll do the first evaluation here and then same thing uh, appointments afterwards and then i started getting patients that used to live super far so I started trying to do everything online and it's working beautifully. I've, of course, I cannot, uh, you know, do as good of a job as I can uh, in person. But I tell all my patients, I am very picky about the photos and the videos that you guys send me. They have to be good. And I will keep asking them to take it and retake it until I can see it really well. Because if they, if the photos are not great, you know, I, and I have a whole guideline that you guys are going to get a whole guideline of how to take these photos and which photos do I want? How do I want them taken uh, in order for the online to be super successful? And it is, I mean, all of the, the before and afters that you guys see on my own moves that I post, those are all a hundred percent. Most of them, 99% of them are online, a hundred percent online patients that got confusing. 99% of those patients that I post a hundred percent online, but anyway, um, so pros and cons. 
the pros of virtual therapy is that you, you know, you can be home and you can, um, I mean, you can Reach make your own people. schedule. Yes. You don't have yeah. to worry about setting up a place about making sure that it's perfect and it's clean and you have the, the, what is it called? The lines for the vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> don't give away all my secrets or our type A personality. <laughs> You can tell them about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's part of one of the videos in Launch Your Inner Mayo. They tease me because I, I I vacuum between my my clients and I leave enough time in between my clients so that I can vacuum because I um, if somebody steps on the carpet, I like to see my straight line. So there you go. You can hold that over my head too, everybody here. <laughs> so you can save time, you know. It's just going to be your feet around the line. But anyway, that's right. Um, I'm going to hop over the carpet if I want <laughs> the, the, the rug. <laughs> I wanted to add well, something. Right now. Okay. Yes. I can you, be up. I'm you were saying that um, one of our previous students had not taken a course yet. And she did it because her husband said, if you're going to do this, you need to know what it takes on the business aspect. And so I'd rather you take a business course first before you do my functional therapy. And I've never thought of that before, but I get it now. Like, yeah, you want to know what it takes if this is something you want to jump into or not. So that that's my two cents. Yes, and even though it's a business course, um, we do a we talk to you guys a little bit about therapy in there. You know, we have a module that we're gonna get through. That's our favorite the favorite exercises of each one of us. We pick our favorite tools and we give you guys all the exercises with those tools. Also, you're watching us doing therapy sessions. During the therapy sessions, we're doing a lot of exercises that you have not seen in any course. I'm telling you, <laughs> because every course that we have, people are like, oh my gosh, what is that that you're doing? Oh my gosh, I never thought about that. So there is a lot of good stuff over there that's going to help you become a better clinician also. Um, so we talked about this already, business license, your MPI, EIN, how do you do your banking? Which system do you use to communicate with patients and to store all your patient stuff? Uh, secure email. How do you send HIPAA compliant emails and insurance? We talk about all of this. Do you guys know? Do you already have all of this in place? Um, there he goes. Justin does the logo, trademark, and website. Uh, do you guys want to talk about this? This is this. Sure. Is this in person? Yeah, go ahead. Um so we go over how to set up your office virtually and in person. So, um, or in a dental office too. So um, for me, I go over how to set up a virtual practice and Ange goes up and shows you guys how she exactly how she set up her um, in-house office. So from furniture to brochures to how to set up everything. For me, it's the EHR system. So I reviewed a little bit of simple practice. You know, what do you need to do with that? Um, but basically everything you need to know about being prepared to see patients. Perfect. Yeah. And for those of you who don't know that acronym, ac oh my goodness, acronym, the EHR is the electronic health oh, records. Sorry. No, that's okay. Um, uh, the electronic health records. And that's just um, for all of you in the dental field. It's just like your Dentrix, EagleSoft, that type of thing. It's the HIPAA compliant um, platform that we use. And there's several out there, but um, mm -hmm. anyhow. Yep. Yeah. And uh, your office. Just give yeah. you some ideas. What's next, Ange? Or not, Renata? Um, sorry, I just, I'm looking at our uh, circle time chat. We have uh, with Aries Circle, if you're a part of the Golden Circle, which is our big uh, membership, it's $100 a month or $129 a month with a discount. Sometimes it's $100. Uh, but you get access to all of our courses also. And we have a WhatsApp group that we can share patient cases and ask questions. And I had a patient that I was asking about um, today and Anne just confirmed what I thought it was. So very interesting. Thank you, Anne. She said it does look like a neuroapraxia. That's just oh, like, nice. It was that feeling like there was some neurological, there was some issue. That's why I kept asking about trauma. So we have Anne is speech, an SLP. She's a speech yeah, pathologist. We have dentists in that group, and it's just such an amazing supportive group where we can, um, you know, not feel afraid about asking questions. Okay, I have this patient. I don't know what else to do. What do you guys think? What do you guys see that I'm not seeing? You know, that is super cool. Anyways, and so keep that in mind. And I, I didn't even think about this. I'm bringing this up. But whoever signs up for Lunch Here in Armayo, 
uh, by what's today, Wednesday? Wednesday. Mm -hmm. First 10 people that sign up for launch in Mayo. I'm not going to give a date. First 10 people that sign up for launch in Mayo are going to get um, access to Circle Time, which is going to give you access to this chat for you to learn more and more about patients and be able to post your own patients over there to get help from the best people in the field. It's really generous. Um, uh, you're going to get access for a few months, probably three months. Um, and then your office, we talked, uh, the girls are going to talk about lighting, photography, how do you take your photos, patient education, what do you use for that? Angela's famous laminator. <laughs> laminator, I can't say that. And uh, what kind of supplies you should have. Um, how is the course going to work? I don't think we changed this. We actually release one module a week. I need to change this. Live, look at that. One <laughs> module. By request of the previous classes, they wanted to go a little bit faster. So yes. it's that good. It's, it's just, that's what they kept saying. It's just that you can't stop. You just want to keep on absorbing it and it just builds on top of the next. It's so, you know, with everybody requesting that we're like, okay, we'll, we'll release them. Yeah. So it is self-paced, but we really encourage you guys to stay on track because we have, um, every other week we meet live on a Sunday at 6 PM Eastern. Um, to go over the two modules that just that we just had, uh, and during those, something new that's coming to the Launch Your Mayo Fall, which is Launch Your Mayo Three, uh, are some special guests and special lectures that are going to come to us. And because we love our Launch Your Mayo family, I'm going to invite Launch Your Mayo One and Two to come to those whenever we have these special guests. I asked to start before the release date. There you go. I knew. Say it. Was good as before. Oh, say um, it. She said, I knew it was that good before it even started. Look at that. And Diane is wonderful. Guys, you got write this girl's name down because she is going to be all over the place. She's so good. She just um, graduated. She's going to do so good. Um, but it is self-paced, so it's in your own time. We have tons of recorded videos. You watch all of those. Every two weeks, we meet on a Sunday. It's recorded. We put it back into the program if you cannot be there live. Uh, but during the, uh, during the whole course, you're able to ask questions after you do your, your modules. In any section, there's comments on the bottom. And you write your questions there. Immediately, Tamara, Angela, and I get an email with your question. And as fast as we can, we answer those. Uh, so you're always getting help. You're always getting getting answers from us uh, throughout the whole thing. There he goes. We have some guest speakers that are going to come. Um, we have, uh, so we have Justin for website. We have the lawyer for trademark. We have Christina Bridges for a couple different things. Christina does... Um, about the business, starting the business, the LLC and things of that nature. And then she also has another module at the end that she talks about um, uh, lunch, uh, lunch and learns, I want to say, but it's the networking, local networking. Um, what else are we going to share? So you guys are going to have access to three different full evaluations, three different therapy sessions. I think we might even have more now, don't we? Our favorite tools, exercises done with those tools, and much, much, much more. We literally share everything. Anything that you want to know about myofunctional therapy, if you have questions about your patients, we're, we're there to answer and to help you guys. How are we doing on time? Are we done? Oh, my gosh. we got 15, 15 minutes. <laughs> we're way after. Awesome. Way fast. And there he goes. Diane is saying, no question is left unanswered. It is an amazing support group and, and so many levels, business, career, self-help and all. Yeah, as I was saying this before we, I don't know if it was before we started recording, that we made sure to put a lot of, um, oh, Dr. Tim's here. Hey, Dr. Tim. Um, to add a lot of self-growth into this because you cannot have professional growth if you do not have self-growth. Mm -hmm. right personal personal growth did i say that right you cannot have professional if you don't have personal uh so i feel like it's really important for us especially you know most of us so far have been women over here 
and we are um, we need to support each other. We all know in so many different fields. Whenever you start, I mean, you guys remember when you started your dental hygiene career, your first day at work, how nervous you are. Now you have real patients and you have time and you have to, you know, to stay behind, stand behind. And how how many people in the office actually helped you? Those hygienists that have been there working for 20, 30 years, how supportive were they? Or did they hate the new hygienist that was just coming out of school thinking they knew everything, you know, asking to... Uh, to change the way that you put instruments in the autoclave, paper up or paper down. <laughs> That's still going on. <laughs> By the way, that one never ends. Let but think breathe. about how difficult it was, at least for me. I know that it was super hard uh, finding yeah, a place too. that actually had very supportive people. So we wanted to create the space in the myofunctional therapy world that you can come and you know that you're going to be supported, you're going to have help, and you're going to, we want you to be successful. There are so many patients out there that need your help, and you can help them. You just need the confidence and the business portion and marketing, whatever else we can help you with that we teach in this course, but you can do it. We need more people in the field. So we over here are 100% in to helping you uh, become the best myofunctional therapist you can be and become successful in your practice and be able to work, you know, for yourself if that's what you want. Um, uh, says, this group is not mean girls group, quite the opposite. Yes, we do. Lori says, what's the link to register? Uh, I did ask somebody to get that. Did anybody get it? I'll grab it. I think that's what, that's what uh, Madison was, was doing, but I don't think she understood what I was asking. Um, but anyways, I'll let Tamara, you think you got that? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Um, but we are going to, now I, I open a new window. I can go back. There it goes. Can you guys see my screen? So yes. On yes. Zoom? yes. Um, so anyways, we want everybody to be super successful because think about this. If, um, somebody goes to see a myofunctional therapist, somebody goes to see a dental hygienist on their first day. And then they leave there, they go to the office manager and they go, that was awful. That's the worst cleaning I've ever had. She hurt me. She made me bleed. I never bleed. I never floss either. But, I know. <laughs> but you know, I mean, we've all have had at least one person in our career that has said something about it. And whenever you first are just starting, it's like, damn, I wish I could have done, and, you know, I feel like I did the best that I could. Um, and in this field, you're going to encounter some of that but you're also going to encounter encounter patients encounter patients that you don't know exactly how to treat and what to do first you know you have your little list of exercises but it's like okay well you know somebody's being super mean or somebody's acting uh or or request things you know a discount how what should i even say you know there's just so much more that comes um comes after whenever you start so we want to be here to just be your support and um oh what I was going to say is like in the beginning you know what if people are going to my functional therapist out there and they're not having a good result oh I did my functional therapy for you know three months and I didn't see a difference we don't want that we want people to go see a my functional therapist it doesn't matter how long you've been working we want people to see a myo and be like whoa that was amazing I know that I got, you know, so much improvement and I got great treatment. Um, so that's what we're here for. We want to make sure that we're graduating girls that are ready to go and take on the world. You know, there's so many patients that need you and we are here to help you find those patients and treat them. We need your help in this field because there's not enough. There are not enough yeah. myofunctional therapists in the world right now. So true. So, so true. Diana is so funny. She says, you guys aren't getting rid of me. This course was the tipping point to the next best phase of my career. And she has the emoji with all the smiley yeah. face with the hearts around it. Yeah. And we have a surprise course coming up after this. I think Diana might, <laughs> might join. Yeah. We are doing, should we say about it? Should we talk about it? Mom, I don't know. Mom's the word. Maybe we could make the announcement on Kajabi. In, in one of the courses, one of the classes, huh? Uh, Diana says, send me the link. <laughs> okay, we'll say it. We're starting a mentorship program. But we might require uh, Laundry in Mayo first. You got to take Laundry in Mayo and then you can take uh, the mentorship program. But we're not going to talk about the mentorship program. That's all you guys know. 
<laughs> but anyways, uh, let's see what else. Or facial malfunctional therapy training. Yeah, it's where you can, oops, where you can get your training. These amazing people do amazing trainings. Um, learning never stops. We talked about the books a lot, which books we recommend. Uh, we have a book club now with Aries Circle. We're going to talk about it, Ange, real quick. Yeah, sure. So we meet twice um, uh, every two months and we discuss a different book and it's not a textbook. So it's an enjoyable um, reading book that we discuss and we it's about it's something that has to do with airway or physical therapy or, um, you know, the alpha appliance sleep. That's right. Something that is enjoyable to read, um, but also something that's educational and it might help us anywhere, somewhere in the profession. And uh, with the book club, um, we already have, we have such a long list of books that we really want to get through, but we only meet every two months. So we have to just slowly get through them. And um, we have the author come and speak with us every time and it's on Zoom and it's a closed group and it's for members only. It's wonderful. Right. It's a great, it's a great group. I hope that you join us. Yeah. So, okay. I think that we've covered a lot of stuff. I'm going to open right now for questions. Um, I mean, we could keep going over here, but it, there's just so much. How can we join the book club? So, okay. Uh, we hadn't planned this. I already told you guys that you're going to get three months free of circle time, which is insane. Circle time is um, um, experience only training and webinars. They are cases, patient cases only. And we have how many of them already recorded? Maybe eight, nine, or 10. I don't even know. Around those numbers, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't counted, but I have to go look. But we are, already have so much content that you can um, have access to. So if you sign up, the first 10 people to sign up for Launch Your Inner Mile right now, you're going to get three months free off circle time. Let's do the book club. Okay. Let's do the book club for that's the three months also, because you're going to have access to the last two that we already had. And then to do a membership too. <laughs> it's a lot. Maybe the Okay, launch your inner mile fall three. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so I'm I'm just going to, I'm going to do it. So you're going to have three extra months access to our regular membership that gets all the webinars and the research folder. You're going to get three months of circle time and you get, you're going to get three months of book club. That's it. First 10. That's it. And then we cut off. Okay. Um, Tamara just posted the link. If you guys on Instagram want the link, it's on Linktree. Just click on the link in the bio and go sign up right now. We cannot wait. It starts on November 1st. Uh, we're probably going to do another live before, um, before we launch it, but, and then we're going to open up the, the modules and all the dates that we're going to meet, um, afterwards are there. And we're super excited to have this new, this new group of girls. Uh, if you want to invite a friend to come, please, uh, message me and tell me that you have referred somebody. Okay. I just need to know. Um, do we need a code? Yes. Yeah. After you sign up for Lunch Your Inner Mayo, I'm going to count the first 10 people and then I'm going to send you a code to sign up for the three free months for, uh, for the other ones. It's going to be a special link. Uh, does anybody have any more questions? Um, I, uh, while those are coming in, I'll let you know that whomever does sign up, book club, the next meeting is October 16th. So that's coming up. And then whomever signs up, then we'll reach out to you and tell you the book name. So that way. Okay. Just so I can well, what would you suggest next? Count 10. Oh, question is, what would you suggest next if you have already started your business? If you've already started your business? Yes. What do you mean, Elise? Do you what mean? What would you suggest next if you have already started your business? Uh, it depends. Well, what do you have? Um, yeah. how many patients are you seeing? What do you think? So my question to you is, what do you think that you need? What do you think you're missing? Elise says like, uh, the modular course. That's she sent that to me directly. Sorry, Elise. 
it, that was just to me. What did she say? Uh, the she typed in like yeah, the hi. modular course. Elise, do you want to take yourself off yeah. of mute and you want to yes. ask in person? Yeah. So the question I have is hey. the question hi. I had at the, hi <laughs> the question I had at the beginning about the CE, and I know I'm that? actually already part of the airway circle. It's just I'm I'm more leaning towards guidance. Can you um, hear us? Ooh, oh, we're muted. Sorry. Okay, I can hear you now. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, maybe I should take it off. Go ahead. I can hear you. What is your question? Okay, so I'm just trying to. Okay. Sorry. Um, so. So I'm already part of the airway circle, but I haven't signed up for anything yet. And I guess the only thing that I feel is really holding me back now is uh, more of an education background, especially with kids and tongue ties and a little bit deeper into that more. And I'm just trying to find the right course to take to kind of dig dive a little bit deeper into that or even even into more of the lactation perspective of babies and, and all that assessment stuff like that. Okay, so if you want to be able to treat more babies, you want me to mute this again? Uh, if you want to be able to treat more babies, there are so many other courses out there that you can take. I know Angela has taken uh, brief babies and another one. Um, the duration of the course. Thank you, Sammy. We have not talked about that. Two months. You are going to be ready with your new business to launch and feel confidence in patients in two months. And literally, we did not charge enough for this course. We know that. We mm -hmm. still have not raised the price, which we need to. Um, but we, we don't because we want it to be affordable to everybody. It is $12.99. And um, if you get one extra patient out of this because of something that you learned over here and you just feel more confident and you, you know, we have given you the encouragement that you need to go out there and, and talk to people. Uh, if you get one extra patient, you have paid for your investment. That is it. And we know that you guys are going to have so many more, so much more than that. So uh, two months and you are done. How many weeks? Um, I think that the graduation date is like January 3rd, which we might bring it back to December. Uh, so we can have a, a big party before the end of the year. <laughs> um, but that is it. If you guys don't have any more questions. Um, so yes, it depends at least on what you want. If you want to work with babies, then I would uh, highly suggest the babies course first. You know, this um, course that we are teaching, it's mainly to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row uh, whenever it comes to legal stuff and business stuff. And then we talk about marketing. We go through you know, how to make posts on Instagram and how to build posts on Canva, your templates, um, how to automate certain things. And then, like I said, you watch us actually take patients. Um, and that gives you so much more insight into being a myofunctional therapist. I have to go, ladies. It's good to see everybody. Bye. Hope to see you guys in Launching or Mayo. Yes. Bye, bye Tamara. See you soon. Bye. bye. Alrighty, guys. Um, thank Elisa's, you so much. Thank you. It's so oh. good. Yeah, so good having all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you're going to be getting some emails soon um, about the offers that we're doing. The book club is not on there, but I set it on here. So I'm going to make sure um, the first 10 people that sign up will get all three of those. Uh, and we'll see you on the other side. Thank you for every everybody for coming in and shoot us a message if you have any questions. Yay. Thank you, Sammy. There you go. Yes, you got to go talk to your significant other. Don't make the decision by yourself. <laughs> Sorry. It's a family decision. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Diana. Thanks, Diana, for being here.